Hello everybody, this is Vectar with another re-review of the SH Figure Arch Trunks, which was recently released, I believe in May of this year. I picked up mine from a Fanime Con, which is held here in San Jose, California, on the Memorial Day weekend. This one, this particular one, was uh, at Fanime Con, was purchased from Tatsu Hobby. It's a great online store. So feel free to check them out. I'll leave a link in the sub bar. So I'll just do a little quick review here. I'll try to keep it as uh, short as possible. So here we go. We got the figure itself. Very nicely sculpted. Some very nice detail. Has a lot of accessories. I think for the was it $45, $50 you're going to pay for it, I think it's well worth it. And it does not come with the stand. You have to buy one separately. They're not that expensive. You get one for under, you get a set of three for under twenty dollars. Most places. All right, let's take them off the stand. Move this to the side. Get a nice little close-up. Details, which are very nice. One of my particular favorite details on this figure is the knees. So when you bend it, it has this one center part that doesn't really move. So you don't have this like giant gash of like a joint there, which is very nice. Of course, it doesn't really apply for the back. But that's fine. You don't normally see that. See? And that elbow bends really nicely. With a nice uh, Capsule Corp logo. Huge seam though. That could be a little unsightly. But I'm sure if you really wanted, you could sand that down a bit, smooth it out the sword case, the sheath I think I believe they're called. Uh, it just has like a rubber strap that uh, pegs in right here or is in here on this side. It's on this end. But you just plug that in and wrap it around him or so so you can take it on and off. He does come with two swords. A full length sword and a short sword. The short sword is meant to go into the case and just you could just pop that hand off the little peg and just place it right here in the, this hand. But you got to be a little careful because that peg that holds the hand is fairly small so it's you could break it fairly easily if you're not too careful and then I don't know what you're going to do. See there you go. And on the concept of hands, let's move him all the way to the back. We have multiple sets of open palm hands. Very nice. Clutched, clutched fist hands. Like these cupping hands. Karate chop action hands. A thumbs up hand. A left hand sword holding hand. It's like Kai Blast holding blocking hand. And text message. And see, I have that other one in this hand. Alright. Well, on the concept of accessories for the hands. Why not do the faces? Let's see, he has multiple faces as well. For his Super Saiyan mode, you have four faces. Uh, it's a little bright, I'm not sure if you can see that very well. The slightly serious face. Angry face. And a smirking face. <clears throat> Along with the face that he had, the clenching the teeth angry face and along with this uh, Super Saiyan head he also has the normal type head focus a little bit camera there you go and this one comes with multiple faces as well Alright, and 
to remove the faces, all you have to do is just separate the hair from the back of the head and just swap those out. It's a little tight, which is a good and bad thing, so just keep that in mind. And you see, two little pegs, two holes. Goes right in there, like so. You attach it. There you go, happy face. And to swap, the, all you have to do is just pull the head off and place this head on with that peg. Looks very good. Alright. Let's take this out of there, like so. Move that. Put his sword back in. Let's get to articulation. Okay, that's the articulation. And his sword hand. There you go. It's a little loose, but it works. It's got a. There you go. Um, if you want to pose it, you can. It's very nice. It's very solid. You can get a lot of very nice things in there. My only real gripe with this is though, he can't do his uh that fireball he did on Frieza right before he chopped him in half where he, cause his arms don't clench close enough together see cause the jacket is very limiting there you could somewhat get it but it's not particularly the best see, see, what, see what I have to have these two hands Yeah, see, it doesn't really work. But that's fine. Oops. You can do this from when he was like holding stuff. Or was it like this when Frieza shot that fireball and he was holding it up with one hand. In there. there you go. And I believe as of this video there was announcements that there was a lot more uh, SH Dragon Ball figure arts coming out soon. Uh, Frieza, Nappa, Vegeta, like when he first came to Earth. And, uh, Android 18, Krillin. So yeah, so if you uh, like the SH Figure Arts lines and you like Dragon Ball, you might say pick this up. This is a, my only Dragon Ball one, but I do enjoy it a lot. I think it's amazing. He's a little shorter than the Vegeta SH Figure Arts, which I've seen in other videos, which is a little off-putting since Trunks is supposed to be taller than him. But other than that, it's very nice. Um, paint apps are very nice. Sculpting is nice. You know, you're not going to be very Let's just do a quick size comparison next to a common rider. So there you go. Just a tad bit shorter. And then both their legs are split or you know separated and bent a little bit. But I'm seven Vegeta is about as tall as the common rider. Well, this one in particular is Ichigo next from the movie. So yep, there we go. That's uh, my review on the SA Trigger Arch Trunks. A very nice kit. Fortunately, I do not have the box. Uh, after I did my first review, 
when I did it along uh, a few months ago, I tossed the box away, so that's not going to be shown. So, but uh, there are plenty of pictures on the internet if you want to see the box art. Alright, so thanks for watching. Oop. This is Victor.